Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do some quick text tracking in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so on my desktop, I've got this folder, and inside this folder, I've got this one video clip which I downloaded from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Adobe Premiere Pro and we drag and drop this video clip into our projects here and we drag and drop that onto the timeline. So let's hold down the Alt key and then we can use the mouse wheel to zoom in on this video clip. And basically we've got this black and white video clip here. Let's set it to fit for now so we can see it a bit more clearly. And we just want to maybe pick one of these people and have some text to sort of follow it, follow the person as they move across this scene, All right? So you can type any text you want, but let's go ahead and click on the text tool, the text tool here. So we'll click on that and we'll click inside of our video player here. And we can type anything we like. I'm going to probably just type at DCP web. So that's kind of my Twitter handle. Really, it's DCP web designers, but we can just type at DCP web for now. And we're going to highlight this text. So let's just click inside here, highlight it. And inside of the effects controls, you can see effects controls up here. We'll click on the drop down for the text options. We can change it to any sort of font we want. Maybe we'll change it to impact, right? So it'll be nice. Um, nice and easy to see. So it'll be quite bold and this sort of font size will be nice and easy and clean to see. And we'll probably um, leave it white, but we're going to add a little black border around it. So let's add a stroke. Let's click in the stroke here. Let's make it black. And then we'll increase the stroke size to something uh, not too big, something around eight. And let's just click on the move tool here. In fact, before we do that, we've got our text written in here. Let's hit the enter key so that we've got a blank space underneath. And we'll put in an open bracket, a space, two spaces, and a close bracket like this. So we've just got an open and close bracket with a little space in between it. Let's select all of that text. So you just left click and select it and center align it. So we're going to use this part to track and then we'll delete the, the brackets afterwards once we've done our tracking. So I think we'll make this a little bit smaller. It's a little bit on the big side. So let's say around this size will be good. Setting it's around 69, let's say 60, 72 should be good. So let's click on the move tool and we've got our text here and we just want to pick out a person and then track this text across the screen as the person moves. So let's find someone that we can do the text tracking. So one thing we need to do is just click on this text here on the timeline, drag it right to the beginning and stretch it out so it fits the duration of the video clip. So I think this person here, maybe we'll track this person because he's coming into the scene and he'll move across the scene like this. So I think this is a good one to track. So let's move across the timeline until this person appears in the scene. And your one might be different, but I'm just going to place the the sort of uh, the open brackets around his head, around that sort of position there. And I want to track this, right? So inside of the text options here, I'm going to scroll down and click on the uh, stopwatch for position. It's going to add one keyframe for this position of this text. And as we move across the timeline to about this position, I'm just going to grab the text and drag it and just make sure the brackets are around this sort of head around here, this position, and then just move forward a bit more and we'll drag this up to this position and we'll just constantly follow it across and it's worth moving a few frames and then moving the text afterwards uh, like this. So we'll get to around this position here. Uh, let's see around here. I think that's going to be where we're going to finish off our text, right? So now we can see this text is following this person, but it looks a bit strange because it just kind of appears from nowhere. So let's go to the first keyframe. Let's go down to the opacity for the text, this opacity. Let's turn on the stopwatch on the first keyframe. So we've got an opacity value here and we're going to scrub across the timeline to this position. Um, in fact, we can just click this arrow here to move to that keyframe and add another opacity keyframe here. And we're going to go back a few frames and add another keyframe here, just a few frames before. So on the first keyframe here, we're going to set the opacity to zero. We're going to click this arrow and set this opacity to zero as well. So between this duration, the text won't display. But as and when this person starts to walk in, the text will start to display, right? And we'll get to the end frame. So let's go to this keyframe here, this one here. And we'll set a keyframe here as well. And we're going to go back a few frames. 
and we'll set a keyframe here and on this very last keyframe this one here we're going to set the opacity to a value of zero as well so now we can see the text will fade in the guy will move across and then as it gets to the end it's going to fade out like this right something like this you can adjust these keyframes and you know position it however you like uh, the last thing we need to do is just really move towards like the center of our timeline and then just uh, click on the text tool here click back on this text here and delete the open brackets and then click on the move tool to confirm that now if we click the play button we should see this text appear and then it's going to follow this guy across the screen it's going to stay above him um, and that could be like a little speech bubble that could be your company name that could be lots of different things um, and you could fade this text in right so as this guy is walking past this person you could ask a question here and this person could answer that question and the question could follow and the answer could follow the person right something a bit creative something a bit different so that's how you do some really basic text tracking uh, in Adobe Premiere Pro the person could be walking from side to side up and down it doesn't really matter um, it's quite an easy way to do this sometimes the easy ways are you know the, the quickest ways and they just work so let's just do things that work basically right so that seems to work pretty well you can um, adjust the the keyframes in between to get more sort of finer tracking if you want I'm going to be doing some more advanced uh, tutorials in Adobe Premiere Pro um, this particular video I'm going to upload to my main YouTube channel I'll put a link in the description to my other Adobe tutorials channel so I advise you go and check that out there's a lot more tutorials to do with uh, Premiere Pro Adobe After Effects and Photoshop on my other channel so I'll put a link to that Adobe tutorials channel in the YouTube description so do go and give that a check as well please let's go ahead and save this work we'll minimize this let's close this folder that's the end of this tutorial I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial